Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am just, I'm feeling so good right now. I legit feel like I forgot what I had looked like with makeup on because I just haven't been wearing makeup obviously. And this is the first day where I've gotten ready. I did my hair, I did my makeup. This is what I would call classic rocks makeup. Like this is rocks in a makeup look. I don't know why I'm talking in third person, but let's just move past that. I love this makeup so much. I feel like it's just, it's everything and it's like me in a makeup look and this hair is my like at home blowout I've been wanting to make a YouTube video on this hair look for a while because it's so quick so easy And I found some products that really work for me. Um, so this video is partnered with nature lab Tokyo um, So thank you nature lab for sponsoring this video. I'm super excited because you guys know how much I love their products and I'm just I'm excited to show you this whole hair and makeup look because it's everything okay, it is Everything I wish I could like go somewhere and show this makeup off but like you know what I'm ready to slay the kitchen I'm ready to slay the living room. I'm ready to slay the whole entire apartment I'm so crazy, but honestly, I love this look so much like <gasps> Who is she? Love her <laughs> So I already went in with the shampoo and conditioner from the Perfect Volume line. It's a really bomb little combo because it gives you the volume while also keeping hydration in your hair. And you know my hair is very dry, very crazy. So I definitely need like the hydration in the hair. I should probably take this off. <laughs> Ooh, my skin feels nice and juicy. I'm quickly just gonna throw on a little bit of serum. During this quarantine, I have been doing a lot of skincare and I feel like my skin is actually looking really bomb thanks to it. And I'm gonna go in with this moisturizer from Han Skin. It's the Real Complexion Hyrulon Moisture Cream. Oh my God, it smells so good too. Look at that glow. That was so gross. <laughs> All right, my friends, uh, Nature Lab Tokyo Perfect Volume Blowout Jelly. You guys know how much I've been obsessed with this stuff. Look at the consistency. That was a little too much, but I wanted to show you guys the consistency of it because it's really, really cool. It's lightweight. It just makes your hair get a lot of bounce and volume to it. So I'll put it into my hair while my hair is still damp right after I've obviously gotten out of the shower. And ooh, you can actually feel it too when it starts like really get that grip that's gonna give that body that we want for our blowout. And I love it because it's actually a color protectant and a heat protectant, so it's protecting your hair while you're using it. So after that's in, I'm gonna go ahead and just like roughly blow dry my hair. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy because I'm actually gonna go in with this little tool to do the actual blowout, but you want your hair to be, I would say maybe like 80 to 90% dry before we do our blow up. I've been doing this a lot. I don't know why. This is my quarantine sign of we're okay. I also, I know I've said this in a lot of videos, but like I just wanna keep repeating it because I genuinely really care about you guys and I really, really hope that you guys are okay and safe and staying inside. I'm sending my love, I love you guys. Um, anyways, okay, so blow dry. This is very island, island chic. <laughs> Once we have everything nice and brushed out, then I'm gonna section off the hair and I'm gonna go in and blow dry it with this Revlon tool. This tool is perfect because it's kind of like a blow dryer and a round brush in one. The air actually, okay. <laughs> I thought it was broken for a second, but the air comes out of the brush so that you can just kind of like Go for it that way so basically all i do is take about like one inch maybe two inch sections blow dry it out i leave it on the hot setting first and leave it in my hair for i would say around five to ten seconds depending on your hair thickness this could vary and then i'll shoot it with cold air for you know just a couple seconds let it down and it leaves my hair looking so soft and shiny and bouncy and i love it because it's super super easy to do i could pretty much do my entire hair in like 10 minutes all right, so already we could see a lot of volume and bouncy bounce, but for this top part, I do do the sections a little bit differently. So I want the most volume right at the roots for this top section. I actually take the sections horizontally and I blow dry them backwards so that I'm getting the most volume right here at the root. Then I'll do that all the way up until I get to the front. 
volume. I swear you guys, this is the easiest way to get this at home blowout. And I really do love like the products that I use to prep just because I feel like they nourish my hair, they keep the moisture in, but they give me this like bounce. And honestly, they have such great ingredients in this Perfect Volume line um, that really allows your hair to like look healthier and feel healthier and for me actually grow. Like I swear, when was the last time my hair was this long? Tell me. Tell me, please. I, it's been forever since my hair was this long um, and felt this healthy and you know like i was saying they just have such great ingredients in them there's rice protein soy protein apple stem cells which it says right there and then sakura extract which is japanese cherry blossoms and maybe some of you don't know i'm sure some of you know but i'm actually half japanese so i love it because um a lot of the ingredients actually come from japan which is amazing and just makes me really happy it also makes me miss my grandma a lot um because my grandma was from japan she would always cook so much bomb Japanese food you guys I wish that I had learned how to cook from her because she made the best food the best ramen the best omelets Japanese omelets if anybody has ever had Japanese omelets oh, oh my god with the tonkatsu sauce on top oh, so good um, those were always one of my fave like fave dishes from what she would make yeah anyways it just it makes me really happy because of the Japanese heritage behind the brand as well um, so to finish off the Da -da -da, the styling I'm gonna go in with this guy which you guys know I've been loving forever look I'm almost like halfway down I'm down this little stem here um, it's the perfect shine oil mist from nature lab Tokyo and again just a lot of great ingredients this one actually has grape stem cell technology spray it into your hair add some extra shine add that moisture too but it doesn't weigh your hair down because it's so lightweight okay I just turned the brightness up just a little bit so you could see all this goodness. Um, I also just realized that I had blood right here. <laughs> I was doing my little, what's it called? Not microblading, but whatever. I was shaving my face. I forgot exactly what it was called. What is that called now? I can't remember. I hate when that, that happens and then like you can't think of it and then two hours later you think of it and you're like, oh, I should have said it. Anyways, I was like shaving my face and I actually cut my nose a little. So if you were wondering what the blood was right there, that's what that was. And this is our finished hair look. Nice, big, bouncy waves and lots of volume. I love it because it makes my hair just look so much more like ba ba bang than it normally does. We are gonna clip these front pieces out of the way so that I could do my makeup. <laughs> I always feel like a, a little kid when I do this. I just realized I forgot to put in hairspray. This hairspray is like mega hole. Do you see this? It's the got to be glued blasting freeze spray. So bomb. I'm actually really excited though because I'm gonna test out this little primer. Is this tube right now? I kind of tried to brighten it because it's raining outside. I'm just trying to work with what I got here, you guys. <laughs> I got this in my unboxing and I'm so excited about it. It's the Pro Skin Glass Skin Primer from Lorac. Ooh, it feels almost like silicone-y though. Like, I don't know if silicone is the right word. Maybe like silky. That's probably a better word. And then for the T-zone, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I like to saturate this guy right here in the center where I get oily. And then also under the eyes, I feel like it makes my concealer look so nice and smooth. And around my mouth and nose area. So then we got the glow on the outside, hopefully, if this glass primer is good. And then the kind of like mattifying bits on the T-zone. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows real quick with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I used to use neutral brown more often, but I've been using taupe because I've been liking my brows to be on the lighter side. I think I'm gonna do eyes first today. So I'm taking this e.l.f. Cosmetics Putty Eye Primer. With my short nails, I can actually touch my eyelid. Oh my god, do you see how different? <gasps> That's crazy what a difference that makes as far as like canceling out discoloration stuff. Honestly, I'm not mad at my nails. Like, I'm just gonna put this out there. I'm really not mad at the short nail life. I forgot how nice it was to be able to actually like touch things and move my hands around, which is so crazy. And honestly, I just think it looks kind of cute. Um, okay, so for my eyeshadow, I think I'm just gonna use this little guy. I've been loving it It's a little palette from elf cosmetics and it's actually called the bite size eyeshadow palette This is a shade pumpkin pie. It's like nice and warm and neutral. You guys know how I 
like it. Um, and they're only $3 for this entire palette and they're very, very nicely pigmented. They blend out like a dream and they're just, they're so pretty. So that's what I'm gonna use. Speaking of prices, I didn't really touch upon prices for um, the Nature Lab Tokyo stuff, but their products are very affordable. And I almost forgot to tell you guys that I have a discount code with them. So it's Roxette, sorry, N Lab Roxette 15. That is my discount code if you purchase on Ulta.com. Like I was saying, they're already pretty affordable. Like I think this is, you know, $12 to begin with, but it brings it down to 10 bucks. So just wanted to mention that before I forgot because I almost did forget. <laughs> so I love this shade over here for a transition because it just kind of looks like a warm bronzer and a lot of times it matches my bronzer so it looks fire. Um, so I'm gonna take that on my Roxette Times Sigma E40 Linen Brush and start to deposit that on the outer corner. And I'm going for like a nice snatched up everyday look. Mostly because like, where are we going right now? Nowhere. To the couch, to the kitchen. I saw <laughs> this meme. It was a, vi a little video of like this dog running and it was just like on my way to the kitchen for the 15th time. I was like, that is literally me. I'm proud of myself because I did work out when I first woke up. So I deserve those 15 trips to the kitchen. I have been cooking so much, you guys, since this quarantine started. I swear I've never been somebody who liked cooking and all of a sudden I'm a chef. Like I love cooking besides the pancakes. Don't, don't even try to come for me with those pancakes. That was a one time mistake. I have been cooking full on meals. Okay. Like Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts all of a sudden. Who am I? Honestly, um, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, Usually some sort of protein in there. Last night I made tofu curry. <gasps> That's like pretty legit. Right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this dark brown and pop that right here into this outer corner. And I'm using a Sigma E25 for this because I like to really smoke it out and just make it look like it's like melted into the top part. Okay, honestly for $3, like these eyeshadows are actually so so good. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of my face powder and pop this right in this inner corner to brighten that area up. Like honestly, these shadows look fire. I kind of want to do a wing, even though I said this was a everyday kind of makeup look. I don't know. I mean, you can wear wings every day, right? So I'm gonna take the Better Than Sex um, Too Faced Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and make a little mini cat eye starting from the middle here. Oh frick. <laughs> that is a lot harder without my nails. Oh, my little wings. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Buxom Mascara. Actually, I actually haven't tried it before. This is my first time, but it looks like it's doing a lot for my lashes. This is the Buxom Extrovert Mascara in Extra Black. And I am going to go in with lashes, which I'm like low-key scared about because I haven't worn lashes in forever, obviously, because I had my lash extensions and then now I just haven't been wearing makeup. So I'm either going to go with the Iconics, which obviously you guys know I've used a million times, or they have this new one, which is a lot more like thick and voluminous than the Iconics, than the originals. It's called Iconic Lux. I kinda wanna try that one, but like definitely not gonna be an everyday look <laughs> like I originally was planning on. These look really crazy on camera, but honestly in person, they like don't look that crazy. Or maybe it's just cause I'm like not used to wearing lashes anymore. I don't know, is it? Do these look crazy or not? We're gonna keep them for now. Um, okay, I'm gonna move on to foundation. You guys are probably like, finally, oh my God, how long did those eyes take? They literally, I don't even know how long I've been filming at this point. So I'm gonna test out this new Lorac foundation that came out with those primers and it's called the Pro Soft Focused Long Wear Foundation. Feels super, super lightweight so far. I forgot, oh, I was gonna mix this in with my foundation. See, this is what happens when you just stop doing it. I guess I'm just gonna put this on top then. It's the NARS Medium Tinted Glow Booster. You can put this underneath foundation, on top of foundation, or mix in with your foundation. And personally, my favorite is actually mixed in just because I feel like it looks super, super, super natural. 
but still glowy, but today I forgot. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. I kind of want to go with that like super brightened under eye look, like super contoured, highlighted, brightened, bleh, super highlighted and contoured, brightened look underneath the eyes. Somebody please tell me why I said this was gonna be an everyday makeup look and literally at every step that I have taken, I'm like, I wanna do lashes, I wanna do a wing, I wanna do super contour and highlighted. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Nude. Really good full coverage one. And I'm just gonna press that into the skin. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Blender, actually. It's so good. And I always go in with two layers underneath the eyes, just so I get that full, 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 full coverage effect. This one I kind of keep like more towards the inner part of the face, though. And then while that one, while that little guy is, you know, doing its thing, I'll go in with my contour. So I'm using the same exact concealer, but this one is in the shade Maple. And I'm gonna use this to almost like bronze up and also contour the face. And you really want to blend these together because since we're using such a light under eye shade, which is going to give us that like super sculpted look, you just want to make sure to blend, blend, blend. Okay, this is kind of becoming a little bit of a transformation. I'm going to go in with a cream blush. This is a new one from MAC Cosmetics. It's kind of like a Play-Doh like formula. It's really cool. It's like doughy. But I'm just going to pop that on. It's light, but it'll do the trick. And I'm gonna do a little bakey bakey. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the entire face. Okay, honestly? <laughs> did I have food in my mouth? Because I just ate. I'm sorry if I did. I just realized these sleeves were supposed to be up and I don't know how they ended up like super far down like that. <laughs> then I'm gonna take this beautiful palette from NARS. This is one of my favorite palettes lately and it's the NARS Overlust Cheek Palette. Um, where is my highlight from? Where is she? Oh, actually, I'm gonna use this new one uh, from Sigma Beauty. This is from their collab with Jordan Liberty. I really, really love this highlight brush, actually. I've, I've used it a couple times already, and I love it. Um, it's called the Structure Brush, and I'm gonna take this guy. Ugh, so pretty. I've actually been liking really, like, soft, radiant highlighters, but nothing, like too crazy like that is everything to me right now a little bit of that pumpkin pie eyeshadow palette underneath the lash line i'm a savage yeah classy bougie babbage you know all right a little bit of mascara down here all right i'm gonna take strip down lip pencil then i'm gonna take a little bit of cork also from mac and line the outer part. This has kind of been my go-to combo for a couple months now. Then I'm gonna try two new lip products from MAC from their Glow Play collection. So this is the lipstick, so pretty. Um, and it's in the shade Yash. Oh wait, this isn't a new lipstick thing because actually they've had that shade for a while, but I think it's just um, new packaging probably. <sighs> I like that even more than I thought I would. Oh, Hunter. We love that i just want to add on a little bit of a more caramel shade right on the outer corners this is artist couture saucy gal uh yes and then i'm just gonna add a little bit of gloss right in the center this is deco a go go from that matte collection all right guys so this is our finished look hair and makeup i hope you guys love it i actually love how it turned out i swear i had truly forgotten what i looked like with makeup on but i so much better about myself i'm not gonna lie like i just feel like i glowed up today all the products will be listed below and don't forget to use my discount code for nature lab tokyo if you're shopping them on ulta.com that's gonna be it for me i love you guys stay safe and i'll see you in my next video let me know what you guys want to see how awkward would that be if i had food in my teeth i don't think i do from what i can see but hopefully not sometimes the camera picks up stuff that i can't see by the way, thank you Nature Lab Tokyo for partnering with me on this video because I love you guys. Bye.